Hello Vault Dwellers, Kato Genesis here, and welcome to another Flux Guide for Fallout 76. This one will specifically be going over Cobalt Flux and the plants that it can be gathered from once a nuke has been dropped on the area. Cobalt is possibly the first type of flux you'll become aware of thanks to the vault suit upgrades that can unlock during the main quest. If you're looking to purify the flux you've gathered already, give the general flux guide a look too linked below as it goes over what you need to know about stabilizing raw flux so you can use it to craft. Now to the matter at hand, Cobalt Flux is a raw material that you can gather from mutated flora caught in the blast zone of a nuke. Let's get into each of those plants we should be looking for. Bloodleaf, which is found along riverbanks, in ponds, and swamps, should transform into quantum leaf when it's caught in a nuclear blast, causing its crimson leaves to turn to a neon blue color. Firecracker berry, found in rocky areas or mountainous regions, appears as red berries on the top of short stalks. If their name is any indicator, they will actually self-destruct if you get too close as well, doing a little bit of explosive damage to you. When caught in a blast zone, the berries turn from red to blue. Glowing resin is found on large tree trunks, and unaffected by radiation, it takes on a sickly yellow color. But after a nuclear weapon occurs, changes to a cool glowing blue making it one of the easiest to spot from a distance, and changing its name to Gloam Sap. Silt beans appear as short bean stalks with the pods at the end, and their normal form is a bit of an orange color, and they're found around grassy areas, most grassy areas. The silt beans take up a light blue color as well, but are a little bit harder to notice than the Gloam Sap. Starlight creepers are long, spindly, viney bushes with berries growing all around them. I found most of these to be in forested areas, or open spaces kind of by themselves. The colors of the leaves invert from red to an orange-yellow, and the berries go from orange to blue, making it another plant that's a lot easier to see once it's been mutated. Wild corn is, of course, one of the easiest to find on forgotten farms. Just make sure you're not trying to mutate ones that are on a player's farm because they'll just get destroyed. If you hit around the wild corn with a nuclear payload, it will turn into a purple aftershock stock, whereas the corn itself will turn a blue color. And the last of the plants you can get raw cobalt from is the wild mute fruit. The wild mute fruit bushes can be found growing in basically any biome that has shrubs and trees, but can also be found in farmlands. Upon changing into wild fission fruit, the plant's leaves go from yellow to orange, and the fruit goes from a faded purple to a brightish blue, as most cobalt-yielding plants do. Now that you know what to look for when it comes to gathering raw cobalt flux, it's time to talk about the areas where you can find it in large quantities. In the White Spring area, you'll find Gloam Sap glowing bright blue on some of the trees, neutron pods growing in the southern and northern outskirts, and possibly even some bomb berries here and there. On the off chance that Morgantown gets nuked, or you nuke it yourself, you can find cobalt flux there as well in the form of neutron pods, quantum leaf, aftershock stock, wild fission fruit, and even kiloton creeper vines. There are other areas to find cobalt too, but these two places are where I'd found the most, the White Spring and Morgantown. After gathering the raw cobalt flux, you will need to stabilize it to use it in its pure form. I cover that in the general flux guide mentioned earlier, so please give it a look if you want to learn more. That does it for this raw flux guide, and expect one for each of the other four raw flux types in the future. Do you have any recommendations on where to find cobalt flux? Leave a comment, I'd love to hear about it, and I'm sure other vault dwellers would too. If you found this guide entertaining, useful, or both, do whatever it is you see fit to show that, and please consider supporting my channel on Patreon. Want more guides like this? You know what to do. Thanks so much for watching, this is Kato Genesis, wishing you a happy Reclamation Day.